this is <laughs> a super special video, especially for anyone that has ever doubted themselves. Those times when, you know, all you can do is surrender. I just felt super inspired to do this video because on social media, like everybody is always sharing their wins. And it's amazing, I'm all about that. But I also <laughs> think how it's so important to share our challenges. You know, what happens when you do get knocked down? What do you do when you don't feel that great about, about yourself, about your, your abilities? You know, that, that we're all human and we all go through a lot of challenges and hopefully a lot of wins as well. But why don't we talk about our challenges a little bit more? You know, and not in a complaining kind of a way, but in a like, hey, <laughs> this is what I'm going through. Uh, this is what I'm learning. You know, how can we help each other through those things? And I just want to share a little bit with you about my experience. Uh, I'm actually at Warner Brothers right now, uh, and I had it's actually a really good audition for a really awesome part. Um, and I, uh, I don't know, I just had this moment, you know, <laughs> especially when you have big goals and dreams. Um, you know, I had this moment walking around on the studio lot, just being like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I it just felt like home, you know? And I just know how much I love, 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 love films. <laughs> and, you know, when I get around them <laughs> and around on studio lots, I just, it's like, ah, oh, this is where I'm supposed to be. And I don't know about you guys, but have you ever felt like, <laughs> you know, you go to different places and you're just like, yes, like this is what I want to be doing. And all you want so bad is just to be able to do that. Um, you know, and things get really hard sometimes. And you know, I think for me, that's what uh, the disruptive movement is all about, is what do you do uh, when you have those challenging times? You know, when you start to doubt yourself, when you don't feel as confident as you would like to, when uh, you know you don't get the job that you wanted to get. Um, that is like, that's what, what I think needs to be talked about, maybe a little bit more, you know, because sharing our wins and all the awesome stuff that's going on in life is amazing and I'm all about it. But I just think getting so real and being like, hey, this is what happens, this is what I learned. And for sure right now I will tell you, you know, right after my audition, which actually did go really great, I just had this feeling of just like, gosh, <laughs> you know, I had two roles that I was up for that uh, I got callbacks for and it was like so close. And then for whatever reason, they decided to change the role. Uh, totally out of my control. You know, I can't control that. All I can do is do my best and part of being an actress is like dealing with a lot of ups and downs and a lot of like just going and believing and, and that's I think why I love it so much is like I have constantly have to work on myself <laughs> you know and become master of self and master of my imagination and and a master of, of just trusting and surrendering and knowing that maybe <laughs> Uh, actually I know for sure that everything that you know maybe doesn't happen in life that we really wanted to or thought was what should have happened when I look back every single thing that didn't happen, <laughs> I am so, so grateful for. Uh, because, you know, I <laughs> I thought for sure that I wanted to go to, uh, you know, my dream college. And I know if I wouldn't, if I would have gotten in, if I would have gone, like as hard as it was to feel so devastated <laughs> to not do that and think that my life was over, uh, if I would have done that, I would have never moved out to LA <laughs> when I was 18. I would have never done uh, the scholarship program that I did. I would have never got to play the lead in center stage and or any other lead in films that I've ever done. You know, putting that out there to myself and also to anybody else that might be going through a hard time, just to like, in those moments when you feel discouraged and you feel frustrated because you're like, why isn't this happening <laughs> when I, the way I want it to happen and when I want it to happen, thinking back on those times and building up all the things and the reasons and the memories of how, you know, when things didn't go exactly the way you wanted them to, how <laughs> later they actually ended up way better than you could have ever imagined. And I just, you know, I'm, I'm having that, uh, I literally sat down here and this like, <laughs> this is, I'm at Wonder Brothers right now, this like beautiful lot and, uh, you know, just sitting in like, instead of feeling, letting that frustration of the things not happening exactly the way that I want them to, uh, to sit there and just like meditate for a second, to take some deep breaths and to visualize and to feel all those feelings of, you know, what it's gonna be like when I do get that, you know, that next dream role that I want and I'm going after. Another thing to do is like, call somebody that you know is gonna lift you up. You know, I think the people that we surround ourselves with is like so ridiculously important, <laughs> like so ridiculously important. And you know, to have, even it's just like those one or two, three people in your life that you know <laughs> that no matter what, if you call them, 
uh, in, a, in a hard state that they're gonna lift you back up again, you know? And, and I think too, number three, another <laughs> little thing for me, for sure, especially if you're a more like type A person that's just trying to do so many things and like has so much passion and drive, <sighs> it's that like surrender, you know, and just, um, and just breathing and, and living from this place of like so much gratitude, uh, you know, even when it's hard to go down the list and just say all the things that, you know, maybe we take for granted all the time that we could be so grateful for, <laughs> you know, everything from like, wow, I can walk, you know, how many people <laughs> can't walk right now that would kill just to be able to walk. And I remember what that feels like. Like I remember when I broke my foot for like 20 weeks and I couldn't walk. Um, I remember what that felt like and, you know, and how I would give in anything just to be able to walk and now I can. <laughs> and so to be so grateful for that, you know, and wow, like I, I'm not starving, you know, I don't have to worry about not getting my next meal and how many people are like suffering from that and think about that every day of like, wow, like how am I going to eat? <laughs> um, you know, just going through all the reasons of like disrupting uh, any sort of stress or overwhelm or frustration with like ridiculous gratitude <laughs> and not just like a little bit of gratitude, but like real, real, real gratitude, uh, I think is that game changer. Um, those are just some things that I've learned. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you guys have any hard times that you want to talk about, like I'm so down and that's what I just want to be about, you know, sharing our wins, but also sharing our challenges and, and being there for each other, <laughs> being that person. Maybe if somebody calls you, you know, that's going through a hard time, being that person that's like, uh, compassionate and kind and understanding, you know, that person that might just be that friend that you just need to like vent to for a second and big believer in like state. <laughs> like I love what Tony Robbins says. He's like state story strategy that every single thing that we see in this life, you know, is from what state you're in and then getting down like state, what's your story? What's my story about this thing? And then having a strategy to get myself out of that <laughs> moment. Um, so I know right now that like I took a second, I like cried it out, you know, breathe, meditate, like did something to take action, have my like disruptive thought of like, what are the things that I could do right now if I really wanted to, like when I'm ready to get myself out of this state to feel a little bit better. Um, you know, and I think a lot of people have said to me all the time, like, oh, but you're just always happy and everything's always perfect. And I just, especially in this kind of like a more hard time, wanted to share like real honest experience with you that like it's not always easy <laughs> and it's freaking hard sometimes you know and especially when you have really big goals and dreams and things you're going after um it can really suck sometimes you know but it's i really i know <laughs> that it's in these kind of moments that i made we are made so much stronger like so much stronger if we allow ourselves to be you know and it's in those times too that it can be the moment of like the biggest breakthrough you've ever had because I know for sure for myself <laughs> I don't know about you guys but those times uh, that you do feel that feeling of just being so sick and tired of being sick and tired of things not being the way that you uh, that you know that they can be you know that you go take crazy action after that like I know after having this moment like I'm gonna go do stuff <laughs> and live so much more fearlessly than maybe I was before and live a little bit more on purpose than I was before and just be reminded of you know the power of like the daily things <laughs> that I know that I need to do to feel fulfilled and happy and just to make sure that we're living on purpose like that like what are the things I'd love to know from you guys like what are the things that you know like, and have you asked yourself this question? You know, like, what are the things I need to do on a daily basis so that I feel <laughs> fulfilled and happy and on purpose? Like, if I don't write down, like, my do my morning pages in the morning, I am not as good of a person. If I don't do some sort of, like, breathing exercise and or meditation or visualization, not <laughs> my best. You know, if I don't do some sort of movement linked with, like, awesome music and, like, intention, not my best. Uh, you know, it's crazy to me is even though I know all those things, how come I don't do them all the time? <laughs> you know, you would think, right? You would think if we know uh, what makes us feel fulfilled and happy that we would do that every day. You know, and that's what, again, the disruptive movement is all about uh, for me is, is saying, <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, you know, common sense is not always common practice. And let me like get a little bit more common sense and actually implement that common sense and not instead of just living uh, you know, like not on purpose. <laughs> love, love, love hearing uh, stories about, you know, how the disruptive movement and or like wearing the gear like <laughs> affects people's lives. I mean, 
literally just the other day, I was just walking down the street and someone was like, I love that shirt. Cause I had like my Be Disruptive shirt on. And it always ends up in the coolest experiences. You know, I'm just sharing, uh, sharing experiences and I would have never met that person, you know? That would have never happened if it wasn't for a message on a shirt that connected two people that probably would have never talked otherwise. Um, and now, you know, building relationships with those people. And that's what I'm just so passionate about, about that. And uh, so please, if you guys ever have any stories like that, please send them to me because I would love to share them. Please just always share with me how I can help you more. You know, what are you guys maybe struggling with? Uh, what do you want me to talk about? How can I help? Uh, if you message me at uh, rachelvsmith.com, is there anything you might be going through? Uh, that would be awesome. Cause you know, I just want to help and share and grow together, you know, and I don't know everything. I'm not perfect, uh, but I do know, I know <laughs> that we all have such an amazing ability to create a life uh, that is extraordinary and that all I want to do <laughs> is be about disrupting limiting beliefs and helping anybody that is open to it uh, really create that for themselves you know actually achieve the goals that they really want not just talk about them but live them and not give in to those challenges and not give up when it gets hard you know to, <laughs> to find creative awesome ways to go from any sort of not so great state to an awesome state and uh, I know life can be so beautiful and so amazing if we allow it to be. It can also suck <laughs> if we allow it to be. So uh, anything that I can do to help you uh, with anything that you might be struggling with, any goals that you want to achieve, I do do coaching one-on-one -on -one with people. So if that's something you're interested in, hit me up about that and look out for Disruptive Academy because it's coming very soon and pretty soon you'll see all about it. And if you sign up at rachelbsmith.com, I'll make sure that I will send you emails all about how to be a part of it. It's going to be one of the best things ever, <laughs> uh, full of a ton of like-minded, powerful, awesome people inspiring each other. Uh, and helping and supporting each other every step of the way to create that awesome life uh, that you deserve to live. <laughs> no matter what anybody else says, no matter what you might be feeling right now, that you really are so beautiful and so talented and so unbelievably capable of doing incredible things. You know, and it's in those moments that you might get knocked down, that you might be frustrated. Uh, that is what is making you so strong. That is what is gonna help you be able to impact this world in a way that you never could before. And I just believe that with every fiber of my being because I've lived it over and over and over again. Um, so I just hope that you can feel my love and sincerity and just genuine like care, just care. You know, I know what it feels like <laughs> to, to not feel so great and to not have things work out the way that you might have wanted them to. And I, I also know what it feels like to you know, work so hard for something and dream about it and see it and practice for it every single day and then actually really get to live it. Um, and it's so worth it. It's so worth it. And I'm, you know, talking to myself in this just to never, to never give up on, on dreams and goals that we have that are, that make you so happy, you know, that you love doing every day. Um, and if you love it, just never, ever, ever uh, give up on that keep causing a lot of positive disruption keep sending me your stories so I can share them uh, and just never give in to dis to limiting beliefs you know disrupt them <laughs> and and create an awesome passion-filled extraordinary life bye guys I'll see you soon